Hi everyone, I'll be discussing about removing Ubuntu from a dual boot with Windows. So first you'll need to be in Windows when doing this. Go to Start, Disk Management, and then you're going to locate your Ubuntu partition. In my case, it's this 46.6 gigabyte partition, which I will delete. The file system for this partition is ext4, but it is a Linux file system, so Windows doesn't recognize it and it doesn't show any more information. If you have multiple partitions set up, then you can go into Linux, then open up a terminal, and then type in sudo fdisk-l, and this will list the disk partition table. You can scroll up, look for your hard disk here. Here's my hard disk, and then you can check to see which is your partition. And so here's my partition, the Linux file system partition, 46.6 gigs. So I'm going to delete it. Right click, delete volume. Yes, and we can see there's unallocated space now, so I can extend my C drive. It's currently at 152 gigabytes. And it's now at 199 gigabytes. Next, you'll need to remove Ubuntu from the boot configuration data. So we'll go to Start, Command Prompt, Run as Administrator. Yes, and type in bcd edit forward slash enum firmware. And we're going to locate for Ubuntu, and we can see it here. So we'll need to copy the identifier. And then next we're going to delete it, bcd edit forward slash delete, and then put in the identifier and it's completed successfully. And lastly is to remove the Ubuntu bootloader. In my case, it's grub, which is still in the EFI partition. So we'll need to use a disk part. And then we're going to list the disk and then we're going to select my disk, disk zero. We're going to list the volumes and we're going to locate our EFI partition. In my case, it's this partition. If you're not sure, you can go back into disk management and you can see where your EFI system partition is. So it's my 100 megabyte partition here. So I'm going to select the volume, volume two. And then now I have to assign a drive letter for it. So you're going to pick a free drive letter that's not in use. And if you happen to use a drive letter that is in use, for example, if I use my D drive, but it's already been used for my DVD-ROM, it just says that it's not free to be assigned. So I'm going to pick Z, and it's been successfully assigned. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to go into my Z drive now, and then go into EFI, and then there's Ubuntu, and then we can see here there's the grub information. And then we can go back out, and then we can remove it. So it's no longer there under the EFI partition. So now I'm going to reboot. So it's booted directly into Windows here. So that's it. That's how you can cleanly remove Ubuntu from a dual boot with Windows. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.